Today I am starting the solution video of exercise 1.3. Okay. In the exercise 1.3, what we have to do? We have to prove something that means some number as a irrational number. The sum numbers are if you will see and if you will care, then you will see that all are the prime numbers. Okay. All prime number, if it is written in root, then it will be irrational number. Okay. So we have to follow some steps. The first step is to assume the given number is a rational number. That means in the form of p by q. Okay. In the second number, we have to solve. Okay. In the third step, what the thing we have to do? We have to squaring both side. In fourth step, what we have to do? In fourth step, we have to conclude all the equations. In fifth number, we have to write as a proved in the conclusion. Okay. I want to tell you everyone that if any number will divide with irrational number, that means it will convert into irrational number. If any number will multiply with irrational number, then it will convert into irrational number if any number will add with irrational number then it will convert into irrational number if any number will subtract with irrational number then it will convert into irrational number okay so let's start the solution video of exercise 1.3 today i am starting exercise 1.3 see the question number one prove that root 5 is a irrational number okay we have to prove this number by the help of contrary method okay let us assume the contrary that root 5 is a rational number so we can write that root 5 is a by b why because we know that a rational number can be written as in the form of p by q okay and we know that a and b are co-prime numbers a and b are the co-prime numbers okay i have taken as a equation number one okay it means a and b should be only one prime number that is one okay so we can write root five by one is equal to a by b if you will solve then you will get root 5 into b is equal to a what i have done i have done the cross multiplication okay if we do squaring both sides then we will get root 5 into b whole square is equal to a square okay if you will solve then we will get root 5 into b into root 5 into b is equal to a into a if you will solve then we will get 5b is equal to a square okay root 5 will multiply with the root 5 then we will get what root under 25 if you find out the root of 25 then you will get what 5 so i have written here 5 getting everyone so b is equal to a square by 5 a square is divisible by 5 okay so we can say that a is also divisible by 5 okay 5b is equal to a square can we write a is equal to 5c where c is any integer we have to suppose that a is equal to 5c where c is any integer okay any number okay in the note I have written, we have taken 5c because we have to prove root 5. If else, then change according to the question. That means if a is equal to 5c, I have written because I have to prove root 5. If I have to prove root 3, then we have to take a is equal to 3c. If we have to prove 7 root, that means root under 7, then we have to take a is equal to 7c. Getting approved. So we can write that 5 b square is equal to 5c square why because a is equal to 5c i have taken okay 5b square is equal to 5c into 5c if we will solve then we will get 
25 c square and here is 5 in the multiplication it will go to the another side into division so if you'll solve then we will get b square is equal to 5 c square okay we know that or we can say that b square is divisible by 5 so b is also divisible by 5 getting everyone so a and b having the common factor that is 5 from equation number 1 and from equation number 4 we can say that this contradiction is arisen because of our incorrect assumption actually we have taken that root 5 is a rational number rational that means it should be only what yes a and b should be factor that means only one factor okay it should be only one factor but here is 5 is a factor so it is wrong now so we can say that so root 5 is a irrational number okay so you have to write here proved getting i have written some note okay theorem 1.2 and example can be solved by the same contradiction method okay i have also written one more note that is root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 root 11 can be solved by the same contradiction method same you have to do okay what the thing you have to do different that is as we have taken a is equal to 5c we have to take a is equal to 2c a is equal to 3c a is equal to 7c a is equal to 11c like that okay so let's start the question number two prove that 3 plus 2 root under 5 is a irrational number we have to do by the contrary method let us assume the contrary that 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number 3 plus 2 root 5 is equal to p by q 2 root 5 is equal to p by q we can write okay if you solve then you will get what p by q minus 3 why 3 is in plus now the 3 have nothing as a sign that means plus is hidden the plus 3 will change into minus 3 okay if you solve then you will get what you don't know to how to add or subtract to solve the fraction numbers i have made one more video please watch that video okay if you solve then you will get what p minus 3 q by q okay if you solve this then you will get what root 5 is equal to p minus 3 q divided by 2 q okay by putting any integer in the place of p and q then we can get what we will get integer will divided by integer it will be p by q okay rational number you will get okay what we will get if we will divide integer to integer then we will get what p by q in the form of p by q then it is a rational number but as we know that root 5 is a irrational number so so we can say that irrational number is not equal to the rational number from equation number one and two if you'll see then you can check okay so from equation number one two and three we can say that or so our assumption of three plus two root five is incorrect this contradiction is arisen because our wrong assumption so what was our assumption our assumption was 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number but we have proved that this is the irrational number okay so write the answer into bracket that is proved okay let's see the three number proof that the following are irrational numbers okay question number one one by root two okay let's see the question number two 7 root 5 let's see the question number 3 6 plus root 2 let's see the question number 1 that is 1 by root 2 one thing i have want to tell you that if these types of question will happen then you will get what root 2 root 5 root 3 root 7 root 11 that means prime number you will get 
in under of bracket that means they are the irrational numbers and we have to prove that okay getting so let's start the question number 1 let us assume to contrary that 1 by 2 is a rational number if 1 by root 2 is a rational number so we can write in the form of a by b if we we'll solve this that means if we we'll do cross multiplication then you will get what root 2 is equal to a by b a and b are the same integers okay a and b are integers so b can b is a rational number and so root 2 is a rational number but this is contradicts that the fact is that root 2 is a irrational number so we can write that we conclude that 1 by root 2 is a irrational number solved question number 2 is the same of the one number okay you can take the screenshot of second number you can take the screenshot of three number this is the solution of three number I want to tell you all that you can solve this all types of question by solving question number 1 question number 2 question number 3 these all are the same okay what the thing you have to do you have to assume first of all that this is the yes this is the rational number after that we have to conclude that this is the irrational number so it is very important question and this is the very important chapter also okay all the best to all of you thank you as i have told you that i will upload the solution video of ad sharma the solution video of ncert book the solution video of rs agarwal book also and i will upload the video of the board paper with the solution okay so please subscribe my channel and watch my videos regularly Hi everyone thank you for watching my videos please